Like every other raid so far, we begin by transmitting into the raid in a cutscene. And where do we land? We land right on top, of course. As your guardians transmat onto the giant spear, the cutscene ends with them looking ahead into a massive gaping pit. This is one of the wounds on the outer shell, and it will be the beginning of the raid. As the cutscene ends, like all other recent raids, the serene music plays and we sprint forward and jump straight into the opening. Following a path of busted up traveler debris, we descend deeper and deeper and deeper, running into minor vex and scorn units along the way. So, every raid lately begins immediately with a voiceover. And I've especially been loving the recent trend of raid bosses themselves eerily talking to us. <sighs> <laughs> You've arrived. Good. As you descend, instead of an edgy or spooky voice welcoming you from a disciple or a god of pain, instead you will hear a beautiful gentlewoman's voice struggling, as when you enter into the Traveler, she recognizes you. Her voice echoes and laughs a bit, and she says, So, at last, we finally meet. Please hurry, my chosen ones. For this section, you will simply only descend deeper into the Traveler, getting to the first inner layer of the machine. Here you will find an arena, and you will encounter the first rally banner, an official first encounter. So, none of us knows what's inside the Traveler for sure, but in my head, I think it would be an amazing payoff to make this thing multi-layered, with multiple shells similar to an onion. Shells all to protect the core, the residing place of the Gardener. Yep, that's right folks, I'm bringing the Gardener into Destiny, and I'm gonna have it be where she was inside the Traveler the entire time. And to top this all off, imagine with me now that each of these layers, each of these shells, are all completely unique from one another, and each is aesthetically beautiful in their own unique ways. Imagine that, guys. The potential to make one of the most gorgeous raids to date. The Traveler is huge. Like, really huge. There's quite a lot of ground to cover in this thing. So, for the first encounter, you will find yourself on the very top of the outermost shell, like I'm showing here in this diagram. The machine shell. As we learn, and as will be explained in narration by the gentle gardener as she guides us on our rescue operation, this shell is the functioning layer and the traveler's moving parts. The elixir were right after all. The traveler is a machine a spaceship, housing an inner oasis and a goddess at its very core. Surrounded by four shells of function and protection, my inspiration for this is the Red War, when as I'm showing on screen, for a long time after the Traveler was damaged by Gaul, you could see a little bit of what was inside from the outer shell, and it looks a whole lot like machinery. So this inspires my first encounter, the machine shell. 